So hopefully by now you've seen our videos on making your simple budget, as well as our short film, Making Friends in Your 30s is Horror, where we put the mechanics of our simple budget into practice. So in this video, we're gonna show what that budget looked like and what we can extrapolate for our feature film. Round one, fight! Hello, my name is Robert Higgins, and in this first round of our Cinema Challenge series, we are giving you the definitive guide for how to make a movie for $1,000. But as we said before, not everyone is making a feature. Some of you are making a short film with your micro budget. Now, the purpose is we didn't plan to spend $1,000 on our short film. In fact, we only budgeted about $400 for it. However, due to our previous $1,000 feature, Barbara, we had certain pieces of equipment that were available to us that helped us to keep our budget low. For instance, many of you might not be using the app Filmic Pro, which you should, but at the time was about $15, and you may not be using a gimbal, which also you probably should, but ours at the time was about 100 bucks. To give you an outline of how we sort of broke down the budget for our short film, it was six pages with three crew members, two actors, with two locations that we wanted to shoot in five hours over the course of one day. Let's start with locations. You know how I said we only had two? Well, it was actually three. The coffee shop that generously agreed to let us use the location for free did so because A, there were only five of us, B, we were shooting on a phone so they had a guaranteed inoffensive footprint, and C, they were able to stay open during our shoot. So that meant having the inside of the coffee shop available as well as the parking lot. Our second location, the mural wall, was about a block away from the coffee shop, which we found during scouting the original location. Pro tip, you should be doing this for every location. Having that mural wall so close meant we could just walk right down the street after we wrapped in the coffee shop. It was a two minute walk, which meant the logistics were the same. And again, it was free. In terms of actors, we needed to, and we cast them using a site that cost us nothing where we advertised for non-union actors. We offered a travel stipend as well as food and credit, and we let them know that the shoot wouldn't take up their entire day. Again, pro tip, on any kind of low budget, you should make it as easy as humanly possible for an actor to say yes. For props and wardrobe, there were no special needs here, so we just let the actors send us their ideas with clothing they already owned. We did factor in what we would need for an engagement ring prop and a bike that one of the actors was supposed to arrive on. However, one of our actors turned out to be actually engaged, and the logistics on the day meant cutting all the bicycle scenes. So while they are reflected in this simple budget, we didn't end up using them. In terms of crew, there were three of us, two of which being myself and my wife slash co-producer and co-director, Misha Hagens. Our last crew member, our cinematographer Jordan, we actually favor budgeted with him because we we are planning to work on several projects together. Equipment. Next week, we're going to break down our entirely wireless setup so that you can adapt or modify it for your situation and budget. But for this, again, we owned most of the equipment needed to shoot the short, including the iPhone that we used to shoot it. So the only thing that we really budgeted for were the Ulanzi Bluetooth mics and an iPad app that we use for monitoring. In terms of food, since we were shooting in a coffee shop, we simply set aside money so we could order straight from the location. This is kind of a pro tip here. If you can swing in in your budget, this can often lead to location owners waiving rental fees because they know they're already making money from your production. Our coffee shop location synergized to keep our travel fees at minimum. Having no company moves meant only needing travel stipends for our two actors and having the coffee shop being so close to our cinematographer meant he didn't actually need one. Finally, in terms of post-production, we knew we were editing in DaVinci, which is free, people. I cannot stress this enough. The studio version is certainly worth its $300 price tag, but the free version is so good it honestly doesn't even seem possible in today's marketplace. We did plan to use Dropbox, which precipitated us getting a pro account, but I'm also going to include our subscription to Musicbed, which seriously guys, saves us more than it costs. So here's what our simple budget looked like versus the production cost of our actual budget. Feel free to pause to take a better look. Now the outline of our feature film simple budget is very similar to our short film simple budget, where we have 72 pages that we're gonna shoot with three crew members and four locations with two actors, with six days of shooting, over six months with an eight hour shooting day each shoot. Our movie, Sex Like Pizza, we are literally producing alongside this series. So we encourage you to follow along. At the end of the pre-production section of this series, we're gonna check out the actual budget and then we'll check our cinemat, so to speak. So to follow along, please subscribe, hit the bell so you guys get notified when we post. Our social media and podcast links are in the description below. So next week, we're talking our wireless setup for all of you gear nerds out there. So please use this week's episode to nail down your simple budget. You guys have got work to do.